our beloved messenger, sallallahu alaihi was sitting alone in a room, and he was praying in the night, in the, depth, in the depth of the night, in the darkness, subhanAllah. And as he was praying, his beard had become completely drenched right, with his tears. And literally his tears were dripping from his, from his beard onto his clothes. Right? And then after he's, he's praying, then he's sitting and he's making dua, and subhanAllah, there's literally a small puddle in front of him. And his companions asked, like, Ya Rasulullah, like, what's wrong? Like, what, what, what is it? Like, what has happened that has you weeping like this? And he said, my ummah, my, my ummah. And he just kept repeating this, like, my ummah, my ummah, my ummah. Right? And then, subhanAllah, in another narration, he says, I miss my brothers. Right? I miss... And they said, Ya Rasulullah, we're right here. <laughs> we're, we're, we're right here with you. You don't have to miss us. Like, we're with you, Ya Rasulullah. He said, no, you're not my brothers. You're my companions. My brothers and my sisters, they're the ones who believe in me, and they follow me, and they've never seen me. Right? That's you. Right? You've never seen the Prophet I'm not in person, maybe in your dreams, but if you've seen him in your dreams, then you've seen him. That Allah Azza wa Jal has granted us. Literally, you are the Ummah that, e that even the Anbiya were jealous of. You are the Ummah that when Prophet Musa alayhi salam, he said, Ya Allah, I saw Allah ma'fuz. I saw that there is an Ummah that they, that literally they covered the entire horizon in their numbers. Ya Allah, let that be my Ummah. He said, no, this is the Ummah of Ahmed. He said, Ya Allah, I see in Allah Ma'fud, I see that there is an Ummah that one day of their ibadah is a lifetime of ibadah. One night that they spend in worship of you is a lifetime of ibadah, Ya Allah. Musa alayhi salam is asking, Ya Allah, let that be my Ummah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not answer the dua of even Prophet Musa. He said, no, this is for the Ummah of Ahmad. Allahumma salli wa sallam alayhi wa alayhi. He has gifted you to be from the ummah that even the anbiya are asking Allah, Ya Allah, make me from that ummah. And yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted you that. Be tawfiq, lutuf, as a gift to you. So then how do we show our gratitude? That's the question. How do we show our gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for blessing us for, to be from amongst the greatest ummah? Ya Allah, I want to thank you for the Prophet who gave us the doors, the gateways to Jannah. Ya Allah, I want to thank you for making me from amongst his ummah. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Habibina wa Mawlana Muhammadin wa Na'ani wa Sahabi wa Sallam. They're making, they have extra worship, extra ibadah. Allah says, and they keep coming close to me until I love them. And when I love them, I become the eyes in which they see, the ears in which they hear, the mouth in which they speak, the hands in which they take action, and the feet in which they travel. Do you know, do you understand what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying? Like the level of basira, the level of wisdom, and understanding, and commitment, and tawfiq, and afiyah. The Prophet you cannot do the fara'id unless you learn it from the Prophet You can't learn the sunnah and you can't draw nearer to Allah subhanahu even with the extra obligatory unless you do it through the Prophet So you're not going to be loved by Allah unless you go through his gateway. This is what he is to us. He is literally Babu Rahman. Right? He is literally the doorway to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, and it's it's not, he's not a mystery. This is what Allah, Allah is so great. He's not a mystery. It's like you every single detail about my life, you have it. What I said at this time, how I behaved at this time, how I sat, how I walked, when I brushed my teeth, what I did when I woke up in the morning, what I said to my wife, how I was with the children, you have every single detail of it. 
And I, I just want to, to end with this. Our beloved messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, reminded us on the day of judgment, there will be people who will be running. Right? Running. There's some people who will be so nervous they will eat their fingers to the to this level, then there's some to their knuckles, some to here. Some will actually go all the way up to their shoulders. Some will drown in their own sweat out of fear. And they'll be running, looking for somebody, anybody who can help them, anybody who can save them, anybody who can speak for them, anybody who can advocate for them. They will run to Ibrahim and he said, I'm not suited for this. And he will speak out of adab about some things that he did. And then they will run to Musa, and Musa and he said, I will say, I'm not suited for this. Go to Ahmed. They will go to Isa, and Isa will say, I am not suited for this. That day, if you want salvation, if you want help, you gotta run to the Prophet Now, the great thing is, if we were from amongst those who already made that submission, that promise in this dunya, he already knows our name. 